Hello, today I'm gonna guide you through fast manual firmware update applicable to every DAWA AMVR and XVR video recorders and it literally won't take you more than 5 minutes and behind that prompt you can see any DAWA camera firmware update You're on the People Systems channel, my name is Daniel, we begin! Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal There is four ways to upgrade a firmware on a DAHO AMVR and XVR. No, number one, via video recorder's web interface. Number two, via DAHO's config tool. And number three, via smart PSS software. And all mentioned tools are free and links for them are all in the description. The fourth option is a flash drive, but we won't do that. Instead, firstly, we will go through the most common and universal option, assuming no any software downloads, the web interface. Note that the following port is identical for all three options that we review today to locate device name and download the firmware file itself. And further in the video, I will be referring to this part. So, first of all, your device has to be initialized and activated. Then, we need to locate your record S marking, which is on the R4116 4KS2 for me. And you can find it on the video recorder's box, like here on, or the informational plate that usually located on the device bottom part. And you can also locate your AMVR or XVR marking any software way via Douglas config tool. Here you can see my AMVR, DHI AMVR 4116 4KS2. Or you can do that in a Douglas Smart PSS tool. So again, the same AMVR, the same device marking. Well, of course, if you have access to either of them. Then we go to Douglas website. Let me go down security where we okay agree and locating such a search button there is it or you can also scroll down to find download center link but we don't actually need it there's no need for it so we return to a website search and we type in our record is our record is marking in my case i'm just pasting it because i've got it and here is it yeah searched and like what i want to say note that it may be a different website layout for your country but the idea is the same search button so then you've got a list with search results results and here's the NVR i was looking for pressing it and i am getting redirected to a product card scroll down to find a download button then select a firmware here and i can see a one and only one firmware file that i can download by pressing this button but before we gotta agree with the license agreement select our country there we go and fill in our email address get no idea why now i'm asking this but anyway submitting now I'm pressing save and the download begun it's great once it's downloaded i open the folder go into the archive and now I want to extract the file. Press and extract. Great. It creates uh, the, yeah, press a folder. And there we go. In the folder, we've got a single BIN type file named after a firmware version. Let me show you the entire the reset. And waiting, hold on, like, like, oh, yeah, around 50 megabytes. So, also, what I want to mention, be careful what firmware to download. Like, firstly, for which country was intended, secondly, for which language, and thirdly, is it the NTSC or PAL encoding system for your country? Answer this before proceeding. Then, for the purpose of updating a device firmware, by going to Anvir's web interface in the browser. For that, I'm typing in Anvir's web interface, or XVR, doesn't matter. But, well, and as you can notice, I'm using the classic Internet Explorer, because I'm used to it, and it is 100% supported by every single manufacturer. Though, it might work as well with Chrome, Mozilla, and etc. Then, also, you can allocate your IP address of your device on your XVR, even IP camera, in a config tool or smart pieces. Enter, and then on this page, we're inputting our user data that we've created during the initializing or activation stage. And right away, we're going to maintain in step. And 
here going to down the manager tab here and here's the last item is the update and there we got a field file update inscription and opposite to path we press browse going to our downloads and selecting that bin dot file that we have downloaded beforehand opening and well now the most crucial step pressing update and there we go WD record that will reboot and appear with inline status meaning that upgrade is completed and you can continue using your NVR or XVR but running a new firmware and by the way manufacturer recommends to restore factory settings on the device and then initialize it and set up again but it's not necessary so it's up to you Option number two is assuming that we're going to update Recordus firmware with a software named Download Config Tool that is completely free and can be downloaded from a download website. The link is in the description. And also, but from a previous part, we have got our video recorders, NVR or DVR name, and we have also downloaded an archive with the firmware file itself. So we skip it here and go to the firmware update process itself. There we go a config tool and once you're in the config tool first of all yeah you gotta get it you gotta uh, get it from the link in the description and then install it like a common program and once you are here in the program you will see all your devices in the list but we need to go to the firmware update tab which is item number six in the left column opposite to a required device there we go r on the r4116 press oh hold on <laughs> i gotta make it yeah press browse and locate that exact file i need the download there we go and well yeah open select it okay and now yeah again pressing upgrade the progress bar appears then it was going to reboot and then it will appear back with the online status meaning the upgrade is completed and you can continue using your on vr or ox vr but running a new firmware and by the way, manufacturer recommends to restore factory settings on the device after upgrading a firmware and then initialize it and set it up again. But it's not necessary, so it's up to you. Option number three requires us to download a free Dahua Smart PSA software just like this one. And the link is in the description. And again, from the first part of the video, we have got our recorder's name or a factory marking. And we've also downloaded an archive is the firmware file itself. Here is it in my downloads folder. And this file, I'm going to use it further. So we'll skip it here and go to the firmware update process itself. There's the Smart PSS and I've got my NVR added to Smart PSS. I check the box left to it and then go to the opposite side and pressing the cog button and here you can see your device model software version uh, serial code and also there is the upgrade button and we're pressing it appears this uh, up browse and search for the file we're going to that folder with the exact firmware file pressing open and here pressing the firmware update now you're gonna see this loading icon and that means everything's just going ahead right now. And after this, your recorder will reboot and appear with the online status back, meaning an upgrade was completed and you can continue using your RDR or XVR, but running new firmware. They will successfully upgrade. And by the way, manufacturer recommends to restore factory settings on the device after upgrading a firmware and then initialize it and set it up again, but it's not necessary, so it's up to you. If you purchased your video recorder, camera, or anything from us, we can help you update a firmware for it. I mean, just contact our technical support on the People System Store website. And we can also help you select your perfect security video surveillance system consisting of cameras, on the awesome, and maybe else. Follow the link in the description and specify you are a People subscriber to get a better offer. If you need help, your questions and descriptions of your tasks, they are always welcome in the comment section below the video. And not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.